Well, welcome back, everybody. Drake Hawkins with again, and we're back right where we left off because it's getting scary sounding down here. Quite scary sounding down here. I'm not not liking the sound of this at all. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our. Oh, hey, what's that? That is a medium crystallized chunk of. Oh, nice, 40 units. That's double the value. Excellent. Um, what's not excellent is oh, there we go. Is the torch thing? So let's go ahead and grab that torch, and we will keep one in our hands for a moment. I think it doesn't affect us in our left hand, and it's only in a it's the extra hand, so the cost of I guess the cost of doing business with the with both hands is the food cost there. So that's alright. So uh today, yesterday we were supposed to do our uh our bit of housing stuff, but today we are going to try to get um the rest of the smelting done and then get ourselves towards come on, which right, there you go. Nope, there you go. Uh, we're gonna have a have a snooze here with uh, boy, it's Roy, Roy the treasure hunter. So am I, Roy. So am I. Together we shall find many a great treasures. Uh, what can we sell to Roy? Bronze tools, black bronze tools, spelt bread, linen sack, and a wolf pup. A little odd. And he's gonna sell us some treasures, I guess. Some messenger trousers. Some, we could be at pants, pants, or and more pants. All right, well, that's not exciting, but the scroll is. Four gears for the scroll. Story passed down to others to read. Mm-hmm. I like that. So so was the idea of this uh, forest painting. But anyways, thank you, uh, Roy. We will uh, enjoy a light snooze to start off the day. Thank you so much, and we'll see you after in the morning. <sighs> well, so what are we going to do today since it's nice and dark black and our food is dropping like a brick? We do need uh, more food supply for sure. Uh, all our clothing is just absolutely trashed and tattered. Not great. Uh, how long until Roy gives us more? Four days for new delivery from Roy. Thanks, Roy. Have yourself a fantastic night. I mean day. I mean whatever year, whatever time it is. Boom. So, uh, we had the charcoal pit. We got some more, uh, we got a, a bunch of good resin trees. We managed to get our... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so many broken. We have one spear left of the bunch. Ooh, baby. Okay, let's nap some spears because <laughs> that just went bad fast. Look at it. Look at our empty inventory. Oh, we got two spears. I lied. Two spears. Ha ha ha. We might be interrupted here. We are definitely being interrupted here. Bam, but bam, but bam. Come on. Come on, you little buggers. I misunderstood. We actually have three spears. Ow! Did not cover the mountain trail that one properly. Yikes. All right, food-wise, let's see where we're at. We are sitting uh, plum empty. Great. Uh, how about here? We have some six-point-something days worth of meat or spoilage on the meat, so let's do that. Let's just fill ourselves up on this meat. Not much other, not many other options nearby, so. So I'm thinking... Uh, we definitely want to build a house. We were talking about at the beginning of last time, possibly building over there. The other option is to build over that way, but I kind of like the idea of that pond in there and being close to Roy's here. That'd be good. That was all the meat that we had. That was nine chunks of meat. Yikes, that's troubling. Okay, uh, let's grab this guy and get it started, set up in here. We need our hammer to smack up all these beautiful things. This is a medium crystallized trunk of native copper uh, in peridotite. We got last night, which is awesome. Uh, it's the same as the others. It just gives us uh, uh, eight nuggets instead of these ones giving us four. Not bad. Sixty-eight nuggets isn't stellar, but it's a uh, it's a good start. And we have a few there. Uh, it's still going to leave us uh, with an odd ball number. Not an odd number, an even one. It's a dozen, but that's not enough to do anything with. So we'll take the sixty that we've got here, and we'll make three hundred units of copper, which is still good. To make our first saw out of that, we can probably... Do we make a sword? I'm not sure. A saw, for sure. Um, we need another pickaxe, for sure. It's almost done. So probably a saw and two pickaxes, I'm thinking. How's the hammer doing? It's in great shape. All right, a saw and two pickaxes. Pick sounds great. We have a pick and a hammer there. We need a another mold for a pick, so let's make that. Where's our plate? There we go. And then we need to make a saw, but a saw is made on the anvil, so... Oh, we need prospecting pick. Prospecting pick, not a second pick. 
That's what we'll do. We'll do this, and that'll get us the ability to actually hunt down ores that we don't uh, have. Well, I don't know if the prospecting pick is turned on in this thing for area. We'll see. Uh, the node search. I don't know if it's turned on in the game yet, which we will turn it on. It's not a it's not a mod. It's a standard. There are mods that I'm interested in actually putting on here. Uh, maybe in chapter two, but for right now, uh, we're in bare bones survival mode. But there is a mod, and you'd think that odd for me if you know me. But mods that make things harder, that's within the acceptable uh, canon of plan. This isn't it. This up here. So the idea would be to make a mod, or get a mod, that makes things notably more difficult. And one of those difficult things is, uh, one of those simplifying things in the game is that if you have, once you get your first green gear, you place it somewhere, you're permanently safe forever anchored there. Gears be, uh, green gears become effectively useless after that. They're super important to get the first one, and then they become useless. Do we have, uh, we do. We have a layer full of the coal in there, so we can harvest that after. Um, but uh, there's a mod that one of the guys that I was watching on the stream yesterday, I really got to find his name, put it down in the description or in the comments. Uh, if anybody knows, please, please, please put it down there. I'm going to have to track him down. I didn't think to write down who it was, so hopefully I'll find him again. Gorg, Grox, 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 I don't remember. Anyways, I will look it up. I apologize for forgetting, but... Um, the thing is, he has he built this mod where every time you die, instead you respawn at your green gear. But then your spawn point disappears. So you would go back to the rule of every 5,000 whatever tiles away, needing to, uh, or needing to spawn like 5,000 tiles away from spawn again. Which would be horrifying. But awesome. So you need to use another green gear to reset your spawn point, even if you're resetting it in the exact same location. So that sounds like exactly the type of mods we want. I think. Uh, there's a few others um, that are of in some interest, but effectively anything that make that doesn't that doesn't make the game uh, mechanically easier, and uh, preferably that adds challenges to this playthrough. Because I want this one to go chapter after chapter, good and long, and see how far we can get. That there, that there, this in here. That's that guy on the ground. Uh, actually, I will go there, pick this up, throw it in here. Oops, wrong way. Nope. And our shovel to finish off the charcoal dig. Every 16 logs will give you two stacks, two squares full of firewood. So 16 logs gives you 64 firewood uh, in two stacks of 32. You're definitely going to have that ready in the small number of gold we gave it. So small, small amounts are much easier to work with. That's great. Okay. This is... Oh, I don't have my ingot mold. Oops. Just going to say I need to pour an ingot. Of course. Of course, of course. Uh, ingot mold. We'll do, I guess we'll do the times two and we might as well. So this goes like that. Move that half. Build the back side here. Fill up your back side lad. There. And then the next one's going to be, let's just run it like this. Build the whole thing and remove that and that and that. Build this one. There, there, and there, out, hit F, double down on the finishing mechanic, and there we go. We got two of those beasts, I'll throw that in the chest, grab our two molds, those need to go on here, actually. Uh, nope, this one's fine. You go, oops, hold on. Uh, place that over here, there we go. and you go in there. Yes, excellent. And, uh... Oh, come on. Now, when you put things in a fire... I'm just going to drop that there for a moment. It's still hot. Uh, when you put things in a fire, they do not... 
If I put two of those in, it does not heat two at once. That, and put two of those in there. I don't know that that's enough. Probably overkill. Might be. Don't know. Temperature on the fire. This fire is hotter, so it might finish in time. These guys need only 650 degrees to run, but the charcoal is available now, so, you know, I like using it. It's pretty awesome. Pretty powerful. Uh, the mold is going to be our kicker, though. We need that mold. So let's grab this guy while we're here and get these running. We'll control right click, and there's a prospecting pick. The other one was a saw and a rate another pick. So, oh, control right click. Another hundred units to fill those. Never partially fill because you'll once they cool they're wrecked. We got a hundred units left to put in our first uh, mold. Seven hundred degrees already and going good and going. Like they're both finished. Lovely. All right, right click. We got ourselves an anvil. Look at this beauty. Ready? Where are we gonna put it? Where are we gonna let's put it in the right in the middle actually where this mold is. Right there is wonderful. I'll toss that mold over here. Oh, that's awkward. Get a weird shape. There we go. How you doing? There's our there's our molds. Wonderful. Okay, so these guys can go two on a tile if we need to. I'll grab the. Oh, where's our? There's our fire. There it is. Our hot stuff. Da 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 da. Fill it up. Nice. Empty crucible again, but. Got the magic started, guys. We got the magic. We got everything we needed going there now. All right, we got all our charcoal cleared out. Um, we got lots of bushes for a new home. We got lots of pine saplings for farming or for a new home. We have resin marked in a number of places. We got some tools cooling. There are a thousand degrees there, and nine hundred and eighty degrees there, and eleven twenty degrees. So we're not we're not touching those anytime soon. That's fine. Um, I'd like to make another container, probably another food container for when we get a food uh, food shelter. Um, I think we're gonna what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna take a few moments. We're gonna go chop down a few more trees and we'll uh, fill refill that thing while stuff cools, and I'll be back with you in a, in a YouTube magic moment. Okay, so we didn't quite get all the wood we needed. Need to get some food. Oh yeah, first hit. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Keep scrolling the wrong way on those. Oh, cool. That is. All right, what, where was the resin? I just saw a resin thing around. Hold on. I don't have room to pick him up. There's a resin tree somewhere I saw. Oh! Oh, there. It's right here. Okay, let's grab some ladders for now and uh, throw them here, 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 that sort of thing and say don't touch this tree dude. That's fine. Overkill. Mm. Two of them is fine. Mm. Excellent. And uh, what else can we We're gonna have to get this food cooked so let's run... Mm. Can I combine anything? I can throw this... No. Let's just, let's just go... Mm. Yeah. I'll throw this in here. We can hopefully. It'll take a bit of extra hunger raid, but you know, gotta carry the meat home. Not a lot of meat off a of coney here, but we got him. Knife broke anyway, so we got four meat. That's excellent. We can make a couple hearty stews. I don't know if we've got. I don't know if we've got anything else to cook with, so probably not. Let's actually throw the meat in there and pretend like we're gonna cook it, and then change our minds and throw this in here. Grab this meat out, throw it in this guy, and hopefully, now this is oh. worth, uh, it doesn't say what it's worth. It doesn't say what the nutritional value of red meat is. Hmm. Okay. Cooking temperature is only 150 degrees, so. Go there and throw some of the fire on there. Is it gonna, ah, it's still hot enough. Excellent. See, we didn't get a lot of time done. 480 degrees, 450 degrees, 400, 580 degrees, so. Oh. Still not uh, solved the food problem. Uh, do we have? We got storage on the other side, so let me go ahead and throw this and the bone in there. I'm actually going to take those back to the other side. I need to make some armor for us, and I don't know how much that's going to be. Let's see. Oops. Let's see what we can make. These are small. 
and these are medium pelts. Okay, good. Small uh, hide is not peltable, but medium is. And there's... What are, I'm going to go ahead and make these ones oiled as well. That one's already uh, finished. Do we have any bandages? We don't. Uh, is there another chest available? What's in there? I guess we'll throw the bone in there. Let's, throw, let's take that. Oh, we do have a bunch of hardwood. Good. Okay, let's take that and that, throw it in here. I'll put the uh, resin in here. That's important. We got some terra preta. Love to see that. Forgot about that. So good. Uh, we'll put the gravel in there as well. And I can put the bone in with this stuff here. Now. Come on. That was weird. Yeah, I wonder if the food's ready. That leather, there, that, uh, not leather, that pelt is going to be good for us. There we go. So is dinner. Let's make some dinner, shall we? Grab that hardwood back, or that firewood back. Oh. And grab this meal. Nice home cooked meal. Mm -mm -mm. Red meat stew. Mm, red meat stew. Two helpings. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. So now we're actually full. We have, uh, what do you got, point two of a serving left. Uh, more hardwood. Let's make a few axes. I'll nap out a few axes here real quick, and we'll grab all this wood, and we'll uh, get that uh, charcoal pit burning again. the wood for now please this guy goes here another knife somewhere <laughs> i don't know the hardwood go sure come back for that stuff in a moment and we'll go in here and we will craft up these chomp up these into firewood make these spaces here that works uh, just like this You and you. Uh, oh, backwards. Always doing it backwards. Okay, another stack. That was, this is pretty painless, isn't it? This is not a lot of work. Not too bad to get ourselves a good supply of fuel. There, break that tool, finish some of that, that, and that. Excellent. All right, so we got some some wood. Um, I'm gonna take maybe a stack here and a stack here. That's not bad. You could actually do a little more. Wouldn't be a bad idea to make it a little bigger. Let's see how much is it gonna take to make it actually the next step bigger. Four more stacks of of wood would be required make it any bigger than that. How much do we have? We left any behind here, did we? There's good, or good, okay, out. Drop down a couple more trees and get a little more of this pine then. Two more stacks of, of wood. So let's go make. Let's do some more. Let's nap a few more tools. Might as well get through this right and get it finished. to do is make some of these stacks into oh man I always do that backwards uh, 
into firewood. There we go. Oh, can't even can't even carry it all. Uh, and then we'll shovel this out. So I uh, found another spot that I wanted to mark for resin. Let's see, what else is there that we could... Is there anything we can jump dump here? No, we'll come back for those pieces of flint, because we definitely want to start using flint instead of this paradotite stone tools. And we'll be able to use... Uh, we'll be able to get copper going decently in the not-too-distant future. But uh, let's start here, go with this guy, and start chopping here. And here, and here, that was a lot of chopping. <laughs> there we go. Alright, firewood, firewood, firewood. One, two, three, four. I really want to get this done before this temporal storm arrives. Oh yeah, did I mention that? <laughs> Medium temporal storm is approaching. Did I, did, I, did I fail to mention that little detail? I uh, hope you noticed it. Uh, it's kind of terrifying. And uh, we are short. Darn it. Uh, okay, well, we'll go over here. I'm gonna fill up with whatever's here. Come on, be enough. 30 pieces, huh? Don't know if that's gonna cause a problem if I don't take it, so we'll, we'll get over there and we'll cut down one more. Even at like three, four hundred percent, that's a long chop. Okay, um, so I, I wanted to make a note to, to clarify a few things about the timing. These episodes I record are an hour sitting. So basically, I sit and record for an hour and try to get as much fun as I can in that time, and then uh, and then I edit it down for you guys. So if that format is a little odd. Um, I apologize, but it is the way that I want to uh, pursue there, continue this. So, oh, look at that. We left a spear almost finished. Let's finish that spear. Um, so what, you, what you'll be getting is a, is a slightly turned down, fast, fasted version, faster version of things. Uh, words are awesome. And uh, hopefully that's uh, entertaining. If you uh, have any preferences, if there's stuff like you feel like you're missing out too much, let me know. If you feel like there's boring parts, let me know. I'm totally with that feedback. This is going to be uh, the opening, right? There we go. Good. And I want uh, a bit of grass. Where's my grass? Grass, grass, grass is wonderful. Come on. Little stick of grass will do. There you go. Right there. Beautiful. All right. That's our kindling. We'll get that going. What time is it? It is 8.24. I'm going to wait this Wait the night until uh, until the temporal storm get, becomes imminent, and then we're going to try to sleep it off. Sleep it off at Roy's. We're going to hide with Roy, because otherwise we'll be dead. For those, search the torch. I shouldn't have the torch in my hand. That was dumb. It wasn't dark enough for it. It is now, but it wasn't dark enough for it before. Also should do that. Leave one there when I can. This is now burning away, so let's go ahead that and that. Close her up, and happy day. What time is it? It is 8 
40 on the 10th. So let's wait till, you know, it's about 18, 20 hours, somewhere in there. Uh, waiting on the temporal storm still. So we're going to go ahead and make up some more tools. We craft these components. Well, we can. Uh, prospecting pick is awesome. That'll let us actually basically, for lack of a better description, it'll triangulate the locations of uh, ore for us. Or it'll let it give us the ability to. Uh, all right, so I'm going to have to heat this up, which means I need some... Uh, forgot about that. I'm going to need to have some cobblestone. Do we have any anywhere? We're going to get interrupted very soon by this temporal storm, which isn't, isn't terrible. Uh, we, don't, we don't have proper cobblestone. Hmm. Where to take cobblestone, I guess? Let's do this. Oh, can't do that yet. We need some dirt. I just throw that in the ground. Oh, need to get some dirt. Mm, that's a little weird that we don't have dirt. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we don't have dirt, so let's find some soil. That's what we need. All right. So soil and uh, the stones that we pick up together can make cobblestone. One box again every time, Drake. Every time. Let's do this. And oh, hello, 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 hello. I see you coming. I do not want you to come after me, boy. Don't need to be taking hits unnecessarily. Cobblestone is made by putting clay in the middle of the whole stack. Not, is it clay or soil? Soil. Dirt soil. Uh, this, and we go like this, and then put soil in the middle? Nope, it's not soil, it's clay. Oops. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Slight problems with the memory problem, yeah? Not good. There and there we go. Make some cobblestone. 16 cobblestones, probably enough. I just need, I think, that. No. Hold on, I saw it there. There it is. That's our forge. Only need one. Got jerks coming at us. Probably all over the place. Too fast for you, bro. Too fast for you. Jump, 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 jump. Yes. Are these things growing? It says they're gro about seven days till they grow, so that's gonna work. Still uh, burning up there. We haven't seen the temporal storm imminent, but it should be imminently imminent. <laughs> its imminence is imminent. Let's throw that there and that there. I want a uh, torch here if I need it. Yeah. And, all right. So this baby, let's put him over here, I think. Throw that there. Uh, what we need for this is we need to use uh, a bit of brown coal or charcoal and we'll control click inside this thing and it'll put one piece in there. Only need one. My son has drilled that into my mind. I only need one to heat it up because I'm trying to heat them up to like full temp. Control click on top of the charcoal, put that in there. And then if you take your torch and you control click in like the lot or control right click, it's actually snake shift um, for everybody else. Uh, right in the very bottom like two pixels I go for. And it'll light it. If you hit any higher, you actually pull the hole out, which is a little irritating. I still hear the growling. I don't want to get starting too much on the smelting in the growl. I shouldn't have heated this up right now. Grab that hammer. Up this beauty in here. So what we're going to need is a about eight to 900 degrees. I don't know how much precisely, but that's high enough there. And I'm going to right click on there or Alt, Shift, whatever, right click on there, and then I'm looking for the saw blade. So, once I pull my axe in my hand, you see the recipe. Right clicking will turn the recipe. Uh, F will give you the controls, so we're just going to go with the downward smash there. Oh, now it's imminent, huh? Sure. How fast can I smelt this thing? Oops. Uh, F. Couple that way. Need two of them. Go down. Might have to reheat this thing after the storm. Wait, click. Ah. All right. All right. We're gonna have problems. You and I are not gonna not gonna dance tonight, buddy. Not dancing tonight. Let's let's just. It's imminent storm. Let's just sleep this off. That would be too risque. Thanks, Roy. You're a great fellow. I'm glad your wagon is nice and secured. There it is. Let's hit F5 so we can see the, uh, oh, there we go. We can see ourselves sleeping there and, and Roy getting a little, uh, shaky and wobbly. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Oh. Okay, that was a longer sleep than I thought. Oh, oh, inside my brain. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Roy. Appreciate the safety. You're such a great fellow. Uh, tin bronze blade would be worth two gears. Tin bronze, uh, bismuth bronze shovel would also be worth two gears. Bismuth bronze pickaxe. So if we find any uh, bismuth, um, we can we can mine that. I think we need a tier three. I think we need a tier three to mine the bismuth. Actually, we might. Don't know. Um, the black bronze needs like gold and silver and stuff, so that's not great. But it's that's why it's it's not worth more. Um, but a tin bronze long blade and these two shovel and and picks would be great to be able to sell them especially considering they will buy them from you super pro tip that i did not make up myself um they will buy them from you no matter what the yeah the temperature is way too cold no matter what the uh condition so you can go ahead and actually um you can actually make that uh use the crap out of that thing and if you watch yourself carefully and you've got uh just the right amount of um, attention. You can get the durability down to one point. And then you can sell them. <laughs> Having the full use of the thing. All right, let's put that away. I don't want to be carrying that around with us. Um, I just need the, the hammer. Once this heats up to about 800 degrees, we can finish it off. And that'll give us our saw, which will allow us to do boards, which will allow us to do storage and more material. So while that heats up, I'm going to go grab another tree. And I'll be right back. Uh, we should have uh, plenty of heat on that thing. In fact, it might be cool off, cooling off again. It is at a thousand degrees, guys. A thousand degree hunk o metal in my fingers. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ah. A little hot. Ooh, there we go. All right, bring up the hammer again, and it just continues as is. So I was rushing for no reason, really. But uh, it, did, it did cost us another piece of charcoal, but not a big loss. So that, that, that there. Run this guy down the middle. You can stack them. One high. Boom, boom. There we go. Now, the next thing we have to do is hit F again and do the split, and we just chew out the pieces that are missing. Careful, you can chew out stuff that is not supposed to be removed. You can tell the difference. Obviously, the ones that are highlighted need to get off the list. See, I just would accidentally double click there. Unfortunately, the, some of the hammers are faster, too. There we go. We got ourselves our saw blade. Massive tech up right there. So now we can do all sorts of things. Uh, in standard mode, you can also do, that also gets you access to moving and manipulating water. All sorts of things, because saws make boards. So I take this and I put this here, it'll just like a hand, an axe, except for look, it's a board. So I can make some boards, boom. Three stacks of boards from one stack of trees. Uh, we're pretty, pretty golden right now. Like a lot, pretty, pretty, pretty epic. We got our saw now, and we're gonna throw that up there. And actually, I'm gonna throw my saw down there, and we'll put our hammer back where it belongs. Oh, happy day! We got all the things and the stuff, guys. Yeah, refresh that torch. I think don't need it right now, anyways. So this uh, allows us a whole variety of things, like right here. There's our some there's some first magic right there. We can get some wooden chests. Now we got super storage. And uh, everything's going to be super happy now from now on. Uh, except for the fact that we have no temporal gear. And that's really disturbing. Uh, I'm going to throw a chest down there that'll be our, our charcoal supply. We can dump all our charcoal in there. Run forward. Love it. And uh, we'll put another chest over, I think, right here for um, some wood logs and uh, some planks. Do that. All our planks and stuff related. So, uh, planks also lets us do some other fun things. Uh, that was horribly done, but lets us do that for um, wooden fences, which is amazing. We can put some berries around and actually have our berry bushes down in the new place and actually have them relatively secured. We can put a, rel a decent circle around our place so that uh, the enemy has to stay somewhat at bay. Um, what else? Let's uh, throw those planks in there, because that's awesome. Uh, we can make a bucket, which is that, and no, that's not a bucket, and a piece of twine. We don't have the twine with us. It's over. Oh, hello. Look what just popped. Look what popped. Baby's, baby's coming to me. Yeah, right click with the sword blade, and there you go. We're going to go hunt down this resin right away. Top priority, 
all our resin trees. I know there's one over here by the beach. Gotta, gotta identify all the resin in the place, because that's gonna be our mechanical uh, limiter. Limiter, that's the word I'm looking for. Limitations for what we can do, like with gears and, and uh, controlling the uh, water, or windmills rather. Watermill, there is a cool sun seeming watermill mod, but I don't think we'll do a watermill mod here. Uh, poison berries, ooh, non poison mushrooms. Hello. Get a bunch of random distractions, but yes. Please. Food. Oh my gosh. Terra Preta. Terra Preta. And some more white mushrooms and some more healing herbs. Oh, oh this is a good fight. Alright. So we're going to probably uh, gather all this stuff up before we flip it out of here today. So that's awesome. Like I said, I, uh, the timing of how long the videos go will, be, will vary dramatically. There's peat over here as well. It's great. And some more white... The chickens over there. Oh, good, good, good. Not far away. Oh, there's another resin tree. Oh, so good. So much value here. Okay, do I have the space to hold all these things? No. So let's just go with uh, what's important here and get the... Uh, wait, the terra preta will stay fine as is. We'll harvest the resin, we'll harvest the mushrooms. With a knife, never harvest them without. You destroy the plant. have space for the healing medicines here. M medical herb and, uh, what's it called? Horsetail? The medical herb. And, oh no! See, I just did, don't, just said, don't harvest that, and I just broke the mushroom. This is a forever less valuable space for mushrooms. This is my dumb. Observation skills, Drake, that are important. Oh, brown mushrooms are ready. Excellent. Come on, finish. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. More food. And flint. Now if we just hunt some bunnies, we can make some nice stews with mushrooms. Ooh, and berries, too. Okay. Well, I will uh, do that. Let's see. Oh, I don't have space for the mushrooms. I just would have left all these mushrooms sitting on the ground. That would have been silly, wouldn't it? Uh, okay, if we come over here, where we're going to have some sort of space that we're going to use. Let's grab all this stuff. This area will regrow these things, which is awesome. Um, pull this up a little more. Probably just, that's probably enough there. Uh, how many do we have? 21? Need, I need some, some divisible by 24 number, or by 4 number, so that's 21 is not the number. <laughs> Not the place to stop. Flint. Flint. Stone, 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 stone. More mushrooms. This is great. We get, oh, 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 stop, Drake, stop. It just about broke it. Oh my goodness. So many things shuffling and breaking around us. It's really making me nervous. Can you hear that? Just endless cascading mess. All right, let's see about uh, some blades here. And not enough room, I'm gonna throw down some of these pine saplings just because it's literally all we have for space. More collapsing under us. <laughs> all right. Concerned. Off that way. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Heck, I'm trying to put a. Um, <laughs> I'm to put a fence in here. I mean, a ladder. Because this side of. And maybe look, there we go. Of those. The 
just listening. Just listening. Wolf would two shot me for sure right now. Hold mine. I think I do not need to be hunting. It may be dangerously close, I don't know. Keep thinking that's like the sound of bees, but it's not. It's a distant sliding of stuff. Okay, one, two, three, three, four. Who's, who's jumping around in the water? What's going on? Crazies. Uh, if we get a dozen of these, we'll be good. on the space for it. Um, sorry, a knife, but you're gonna have to go. Five of them. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Go. Eleven. One more. There. Okay. Totally got myself sidetracked. So that's going to happen. Literally got distracted by a running bunny. It was not quite squirrel, but bunny. Moment. Um, now, if we talked about last time, building off in this general area. We got that guy up there. And this one over there. I like this space. So let's for now just up on up on top here is nice and plainly obvious where where this stuff is. So let's throw this here. Um, what do we need to get rid of? Like um, I can make the bandages now and toss most of them in the excess in there. That's fine. There we go. Uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna leave my bow and my arrows here because there's space that we're not actually using. Would be wise. Uh, we got some food we need to cook up back home. Got some resin here. We can leave it here. Uh, in the planks. Bunch of extra sticks. A little stack of them actually in there. Good. All right. So we got to start. We got a location that we're going to go with. We're going to come over this way. We're going to build in and around here and maybe up on this gravelish area here. The water all around. Uh, and our, our landmarks nice and high in the air. Uh, we can go back to uh, base and try to find out. Well, we don't have any food, so we're going to need to hunt something. We were coming for the resin, though, so that resin's not recharged yet. I see one over there. Oh, baby, so much good resin. This is going to be good coming later, if we survive that long. Hopefully you guys are enjoying things. If you are, please do not do not hesitate to uh, hit that like button. I appreciate it. It really does push the channel forward. And that's uh, that and watching every, anything you enjoy on the channel is really all I can, can ask. And hope you guys do enjoy yourselves and uh, that you come back for the next episode. We'll see you in game.